Hello, you're watching another episode of Waffle TV. My name is Jimmy, and I'm here with the cast of the Dead Letter Office showing at the spaces. Hello, guys. Hello. 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 So, first of all, can you tell us just a little bit about uh, what the show is? Right. I'm looking at you. Right. <laughs> so, um, the Dead, Dead Letter Office is about, um, it's based in a real place in Ireland where all the lost mail in the whole of the UK ends up. Um, and we first see the Dead Letter Office through the eyes of our character, James, who goes there searching for a letter from his birth mother. But instead, he meets all these weird and wonderful characters who, who work in the Dead Letter Office, who came to the Dead Letter Office, and um, he soon discovers that some letters are better left unopened and some stories are better left untold. Very mysterious, very <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> Fantastic. And whereabouts have you guys uh, kind of come from? Where are you based from? Uh, well, we're actually from Edinburgh Napier University, so we've just, we're, we've just graduated, which is really exciting, and this is our kind of final show. Um, but in our final year, we've formed our own company, so it's Marley Foods, Mr. Findlay, Kevin Fuzzle, and two other guys who are in the office. But yeah, we kind of started off as a collaborative process, and then this guy ends up writing it, and here we are. <laughs> and how, how did you guys get on at writing it together? Do you know what I mean? How was the process? fun it was a, a long process lots and lots of drafts and hard work and feedback and um, what we kind of did was we wrote we allocated we did a sort of story plan of the whole play and then we went i'll write this bit you write that bit and then we swap so it's really weird there's scenes where it's, it's just marley i was writing and then the scenes are just my writing and then there's just random scenes that are like marley me marley me <laughs> um which is pretty cool it's nice to see that sort of develop and in terms of audiences and things like what do you think is going to be your your main kind of target market for for the show Who's it aimed at? It really likes a, a, just a good story, you know, a bit of adventure, something a bit different. Yeah. Uh, people maybe like to watch, like, I don't know, like crime, detective type of yeah, thing. Yeah, like Inception a little bit, or like, or like um, Women in Black stuff where like, they like twists, they like stories, they like trying to figure stuff out. Right. They've been the most interesting feedback from looking at audience members who like came and like told us what they thought, and that was like that's great because we want to hear like what they see in it. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it was really important to us to not babysit the audience, oh, like yeah. to leave them with questions so that they can go away and and thought, oh right, wait, actually, what happened there? Like, oh, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Like, so they leave with questions and then can think about it later. Yeah. <laughs> and how has the general kind of audience feedback been so far for you guys? It's been really good, yeah, actually. Amazing, yeah, yeah, we've had like just what we were saying. Actually, we've had a lot of different kind of interpretations of the story which is really interesting and mm -hmm. it's been really good so far people have been really enjoying it yeah we've only yeah. done two shows so far and they've both been sold out and like we've had people wait around and say stuff afterwards and also post stuff on our facebook which has been like lovely just yeah. to like yeah so oh, that helps if yeah. anyone comes to see the show it'd be great if you could tweet about it afterwards because <laughs> <laughs> it just it works so much especially in the sim thing there's just so much paper flying about yeah. word of mouth but yeah and word of mouth just is good that we were main tool Fantastic. And where can these audiences find you guys? Who's going to put the plug? We're at the, <laughs> we're at the Space on the Mile, which is right here, which is the Radisson Blue Hotel. Uh, just um, basically right next to Royal Mile, so we're bang in the middle. Um, yeah, we're at five past four every even date of the Fringe. So we've got nine more performances yeah. Yeah. to go. Um, yeah, come see us. Yeah, uh, some really exciting yeah, we're Some Company Productions. We have a Facebook, Some Company Productions, <laughs> and Twitter, Some Company PRT. Thank you very much, guys. Fantastic. It's been another episode of Waffle TV, sponsored by Boomers.